Welcome to the messy workbench. Just a quick uh, report here on the carbon monoxide detector and harvesting some components there. Uh, basically, this guy was beeping like crazy. And if you look really, really close, you can't really read it with the reading glasses, but with the camera, you can see it. Basically, it has a lifetime of 10 years, and after that, it just beeps. Replacing the batteries doesn't help you, because most likely the sensor's life is done, and not much you can do about it. So the parts that I harvested on that was the power supply. It's a 9 volt, 250 milliamps, but AC. So I'm not totally sure what I can use a 9 volt AC for. If you have any ideas leave a comment down there so i know what to do with it because i really don't have a clue a bit more useful is this 9 volt battery connector that might come in handy although i have a bunch of them already and we have this lcd display don't know the specs on that yet might be cool no clue about that but what i want to talk about is this round thing here that is the piezo speaker the thing that makes noise and you have three connections here um i looked up online the data sheets there's also a video that you need to actually drive it with a circuit in order to make some noise because if you just hook up electricity on it nothing happens you don't hear anything uh, so on this data sheet i realized that g is ground m seems to be like the power and f seems to be the signal so i went ahead and just grabbed the signal generator here put negative on the ground and this on the F, turn on the signal generator um, and you hear a noise. So as we change the frequency, uh, what is that? Kilohertz, two kilohertz is that. So that's three kilohertz, four kilohertz. Yeah, you hear that, nice annoying. Five, it's nearly out of my hearing range. Six, seven, I hear again loud and cl clear, high beep. Eight, ten, that's just a squeal. So, yeah, we can drive it here with the frequency generator. So again, three kilohertz, I think. We have five volt amplitude, uh, duty cycle 50, sine wave is that. Um, not totally sure how many amps it is. But so what I think is happening here is you're gonna amplify it with the voltage across there. So I was wondering if we start putting a voltage there, hook it up if you can just amplify that. So let's take the sweet power supply and oh boy, let's not use 12 volts. Um, I need this one. We definitely need to go down in voltage here. Say five volts, six volts, seven volts, six volts, five volts. I don't know. So we hook up ground on our common ground here. Yeah, can we put both of them on there? Come on. Yeah. And then the red one on here. It popped right away.
So we have five volts on there, no sound so far. And okay, if we up the voltage. No, nothing is happening now. So no, that idea was a failure. <laughs> Probably should have checked it out more, <laughs> what I'm doing here. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't broken anything yet. So, but yeah, we can at least drive it with the frequency, a signal generator here. Let's see, I think we can probably change the amplitude a little bit. And let's do the frequency to a nice annoying 4. 9 volts, yeah, it does get a little bit louder. Pretty decent. So what happens if we take this and put that on M? Yeah, that works just as well. Oh God, my ears are hurting. My ears are hurting. Oh, golly crap. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, you hear a little bit of the deep one kilohertz sound. I think that's pretty much the fun that we got out of this piece of speaker. That's pretty kind of cool though. Not sure that we can do anything more interesting here. I guess some interesting experiments would be to put two different frequencies on that, but I think that would just... It definitely vibrates. Not that you feel it, but... Oh, that one you feel, actually. Oh, now I'm kind of curious. Can we lower that to... Still hear it a little bit. Not strong enough on that one. Ow! Woo! Definitely quite annoying. That was a keel experiment. Let's just check a B conversion. Yeah, this is much quieter than over here. So yeah, if you want to use the frequency generator, put it between 
M and G. That really does the thing. And you could also use it as a little ah vibration table. Well, that's it. See you next time.